Evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries. I want to prophetically decree and declare the Lord says, I hear chains falling. Friends, chains or bondages or weights or burdens are breaking off God's people in about four minutes. I want to pray the prayer of impartation of faith. I want you to catch this spirit because the impartation of the Lord is not always taught. It's caught like fire. I want to pray for chains to be broken. Hallelujah. By the blood and power and the name of Jesus Christ. Now, before I continue, it'd be an honor if you'd subscribe to the channel. Thank you in advance. Any specific prayer requests, you're more than welcome to put them in the comment section below. I am live every Monday night. 9 p.m. Eastern New York on YouTube. Monday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern YouTube. Check it out, man. It blew up last night. The chat. People are chatting in prayer requests. I'm praying over the prayer requests and seeing people. They're getting delivered, set free, baptized in the Holy Ghost. And the cool thing is, as I'm praying for people, everyone else that's joining on the show live is praying for the people I'm praying for. So we are seeing great, great breakthrough. But friends, the Lord wants to put the Lord, Holly, forgive me, Holly, the devil, demon spirits. The Lord wants to break the chains. The devil and demons want to put them and keep them on you. We want to keep you in bondage, burden, weighed down. How many know when they did farming back then in the Bible, well, they still do farming, but back then the main sources of income were farming and fishing so many of the stories are metaphorically and symbolic in the bible of farming and fishing they would put shackles on the cattle or they would put they would tether them together the lord wants to break the burden by the anointing of the holy spirit the bible says the anointing the anointing oil Oil in the Bible is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. The anointing doesn't break the yoke because if you break something, you can put it back together. The anointing destroys the yoke. Hallelujah, because if you destroy something, it cannot be fashioned. That's how powerful the anointing of the Holy Spirit is. Those yokes, once again, they would yoke together the oxen, the cattle, the donkeys, so they can make the furrows, those farmers now. And Revelation chapter 5 talks about the lion of the tribe of Judah. Friends, when the lion roars, we've all seen this in, in movies or in a pictorial setting. When the lion roars, everyone in the jungle stands, you know, about face. Hallelujah. Now, Jesus is the lamb and the lion. But when he becomes the lion and he breaks the chain, hallelujah, it's broken for good. Revelations chapter 5, verse 5, the elders said to me, do not weep. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the scrolls and loose its seals. Friends, Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. I don't know what weight burden you're carrying today. Well, you're ensnared with weapons from the enemy, but the Bible says no weapon formed against you shall prosper nor prevail. You could be carrying a burden of health resistance or an enemy in the health stream. It could be financial. Your enemy could be finances where you need money and you need the Lord to break through in your finances. It could be relational. You could have relational opposition. It could be myriads of things. So, Father, I'm praying right now. I break every chain by the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood covers me, covers everyone listening and watching. All weights, chains, burdens, snares, weapons. In the name of Jesus, I'll lose healing. I'm seeing chains fall off people that need miracles in healing, whether you have a disease or an infirmity or a sickness. I'm hearing the chains being broken, the shackles. Be free in Jesus' name from every infirmity, disease, and sickness. I'm hearing chains being broken in relationships. The enemy's coming, trying to divide and cause divorce or, you know, just quarreling and within the households or even friendships. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing chains 
being broken and I'm seeing chains being broken in finances, people that need finances. The money's coming. So pray for wisdom. Don't pray for money. Solomon said, Lord, don't give me money. Give me wisdom. So when I get the money, I'll be able to steward and contain it. And it won't leak out and become aborted. Praying for wisdom, for finances, to create finances in the name of Jesus. And bless you if you made it this far once again. It'd be an honor if you'd subscribe to the channel. Again, I'm live every Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern on YouTube. Go to my channel. Any other shows I've done in times past, you can check out. There's tons of them. The Lord bless you. Amen.